Today on Trying Something New, we finish up our Yum Box from South Korea. First, we're going to try these Chamsal Sangai. Sangwa. Chamsal Sangwa, which is soy sauce flavored rice cakes. Rice. Crackers, not cakes, crackers. Um, you're about to get a taste of South Korea's rich history, and when we say rich, we mean it. Back in 1500 BC, rice was used as a currency in South Korea. But don't think pennies, think hundred dollar bills. Rice was considered such a luxury food that it was too valuable for common people to eat, even the farmers that grew it. For centuries, you could determine a person's social status just by looking at how much rice they had stowed away. Knowing this, we can't help but think that if these savory rice crackers were around back then, they'd be worth some serious cash. Rice is much more affordable today, so you can unfortunately so you unfortunately can't buy a Porsche with these crackers. Hmm. However, they bring you a different kind of richness, rich flavor. Every crispy bite bursts with addictive soy saucy scrumptiousness. We actually think it's a good thing that these crackers aren't worth a ton of money because we'd feel bad about eating a bazillion dollars a minute. <laughs> Just like that. What's the matter? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to eat oh, it now. Oh, the aftertaste is bad. Oh, that's a... We haven't had a throwaway <laughs> in this box. Wow. Like I said, I'm afraid to try it now. Oh, you need a drink too? These aren't bad. Yeah. Smells like soy sauce. Definite aftertaste of soy sauce. Cracker's nice and crispy. It's a nice biscuit flavor. I like it. You shouldn't have thrown yours away. I would eat yours too. Well, we're going to have a difference of opinion on this one. How would you rate this one? I'll give it one star, the same as the cocoa. Cocoa. Really? You ate the cocoa. Oh, you only ate the marshmallow. How about would you give this one a half star? Just one. Just one? You took one bite and threw it away. What? You didn't even like it. I didn't like the tea one either. I tried to eat the marshmallow. I, I like it. I'm going to go with, um, well, it wasn't as good as some of the other. I'm going with three star. Three? Yeah, it was good. That's disgusting. No, it was good. Would you like to read us a trivia question? Yes. <laughs> what number are we on now? Uh, six. Okay. Wait. Are we? Yeah. Okay. At birth, babies in South Korea are considered wiser than the elder, too pure to be touched, one year old, or tax paying citizens. At birth, babies in South Korea are considered. Uh, wiser than the elderly. Yes, I do. <laughs> Mommy just wrote me this. Do you want to sleep over at Grandma's with Chris? Yes, I do. Can we finish this first, please? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say wiser than the elderly. 
Oh, did I say Rise of the Elder before? I don't know what you said. I think I did. Oh, no, they're considered one year old. At birth? That kind of makes sense. Yeah. They're they... following an ancient Chinese tradition. Okay. All right, one more, and then we'll move on to our cheddar chips. Okay. We can thank South Korea for which of these inventions? Wireless headphones, portable MP3 player, flat screen TV, or a DVD player? Or just, just wow. DVD player, not a DVD player. Flat screen TV. Okay, flat no, it's portable MP3 player. Oh, okay. So next we're going to... Yummy chips. I think they'll be yummy. I'm guessing they... Cheddar are, cheese they kettle they chips. Yummy. And they sound yummy. South Koreans are totally obsessed with cheese. Each year um, they spend over 500 million on cheese imports, making their cheese market the third fastest growing in the world. But their cheesy obsession isn't just a number. It's melted right into South Korean culture. In Seoul, under, under the TV. Go get the scissors if you're having a hard time. In Seoul, it's fashionable to wear a t-shirt or sweater that just says the word cheese. Cafes serve slices of cheesecakes that are made to look like wedges of cheese, holes and all. And while South Koreans enjoy a slice of cheesy pizza just as much as Italians, Theirs can feature snails, fig, sweet potato, and calamari. Sometimes all together. To top it all off, there's a popular cheese theme park where you can go on cheese-inspired rides and make your own cheese on site. I only got one side. Oh, that's right. We had to give you a taste of South Korea's obsession, and that's where these cheddar chi cheese chips come in. Once you taste them, we think you'll just be a, just, you'll, excuse me, we think you'll be just as obsessed. So feel free to do as Koreans do, crunch them, share them, and take photos with them. Just don't say cheese if you pose for a photo. In Korea, they say kimchi. Kimchi. Did you try it yet? No. What? Kimchi. Cheers. Ooh. That's not what I was expecting. What kind of cheese is it? Cheese chips. Ingredients are wheat flour, sugar, veg. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wrong thing. Potato, palm oil, cheddar cheese seasoning, which is sour cheese seasoning, which is cheddar cheese powder. Yeah, this is weird. Butter, skim milk, paprika. Seas seasoning powder, onion powder, seasoning, and salt. Uh, you know, this is not the cheese flavored chips that we're used to for certain. You like it? Mm, definitely better than the other ones. Did you show them the picture? Yeah. I already did. Yeah. Mm -mm. I like the soy sauce oh, cracker. And Auntie Marie me. watches us too. Oh, hi Auntie Marie. <laughs> okay, how would you rate these? Um, I'm only going with two. And the crackers were better than this. I go with three. Three. A lot of mixed ratings on this box. 
<coughs> Not that bad. And that's the end of South Korea. Although we have what was our two more trivia questions. What was our, oh yeah, the corn puff thing. Oh yeah, the, the chocolate corn puffs. Okay, last two trivia questions, and then next time we'll be on to a new box. Okay. Which of the following <coughs> is a common South Korean wedding gift? Wedding gift. Live tuna. What? Wooden spoon. Duck statues. Bowl of kimchi. Well, they just we just found out that cheese is like the best thing over there. They have cheese written on shirts. So I'm going to say a bowl of kimchi. Me too. I didn't see the answer. No, it's duck statue. Duck That's statue. weird. Next one. Common South Korean wedding gift duck statues. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. South Korea, South Koreans enjoy the world's fastest Taxi service, high-speed trains, food delivery, or internet speeds. High-speed trains. I was just falling floor. Perfect. Hey, hey. It's internet speed. No way. Yes, what? Wow. We should move over there then. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Yes. That's late. While we are surfing the web, South Koreans are speed boating. Their internet speeds are the fastest in the world, four times faster than the global average. A whopping 92.6% of the population actively uses super fast internet. And it's no wonder why. It costs less than $30 a month because it's so fast, widely used, and cheap. South Korea's internet is considered the most advanced in the world. Well, we should take a lesson from them about that. No way, you can't, you can't, don't take good. And don't eat with these wrappers. Well, the candy she is throwing away. I'm back. We did not like them very much. They were rice flavored hard candy. We gave them two stars. We gave them two stars and we're not gonna we're not gonna eat those last two. Alright. So that concludes our yum box from South Korea. We have Karina. 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 Korea. South Korea. You like, you like South Korea. <laughs> South Korea. I'm like, smack, smack, smack. I'm like, smack, smack, smack. All right. Until next time, please I'm give like a like. Bye, bye, bye. Please give a share. Subscribe if you'd like. Bye-bye.